Hey Joe fans, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel. Today we are going to start on our October sous vide cook for the month and I feel privileged this month to have been able to partner with Omaha Steaks uh, on our meat this time. Uh, we're going to do a sous vide beef brisket and I've got a really beautiful uh, three pound beef brisket flat section here uh, that came in from Omaha Steaks this week. So let's take a quick look at this. This uh, box from Omaha Steaks looks really good. We've got a really nice piece of uh, beef brisket here. Looks looks beautifully marbled. So we're going to have a look at that. It's already had most of the fat trimmed, which is perfect. So we're going to unpackage this. I've thawed this and we're going to season it up and uh, we'll go from there. First thing we want to do is season this. I have uh, rinsed this brisket and patted it dry with a paper towel. You can use whatever your favorite beef rub is, but I'm going to do a double layer of seasoning today on this. I'm going to start out with a layer of the Kamado Joe peppered sea salt, and I'm going to follow that with a layer of the smoky paprika. So we're just going to shake on a liberal coating of each of these on both sides and like I said I'm going to start out here with the peppered sea salt and then we're going to follow that with the smoky paprika and then I'm just going to pat that in place I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes and then I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side I'm going to let this sit just long enough to make sure that that rub's going to adhere nicely Okay, I've flipped this and we're hitting it on the back side now. So I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes longer and let that adhere. And then we're going to come back and we're going to put this in a vacuum seal bag. Okay, so I've got this brisket in the 11-inch uh, wide food saver bag. So we're going to seal it right up. And now that that's sealed, we're going to prepare our sous vide bath. Okay, I've taken uh, one of these cheap styrofoam coolers and I'm going to use it for our sous vide bath and I've got my Namaku uh, sous vide immersion circulator attached to this cooler. So what we're going to do now is we're going to power up the Namaku and we're going to set this guy for 135 degrees. So you just touch that screen to power this up and I'm going to spin the dial and we're going to set it for 135 and once it gets to 135 we're going to drop our brisket in okay we've got our water up to temperature now so i'm going to drop our vacuum sealed brisket right in here and i'm going to make sure that we don't get over our maximum water level there and we're right on it so i'm going to let that sit for 48 hours i know that sounds like a long time but i've also fashioned a little cover here you want to keep an eye on your water level when you're going for this length of time. So I've just made a cover and 48 hours is what it's going to take to cook this brisket at 135 degrees. And we'll talk more about that at the end of the video. So for now, we're going to let this sit for 48 hours before we come back and finish it up. Okay, now that we have the brisket in the water bath while it's cooking there, I want to discuss a couple of quick things about this process. First of all, I have switched that out of the styrofoam cooler into a regular plastic container. I'm not 100% confident that styrofoam is the right choice for that. It looked like it may leak with hot water in it. So I just to be safe, I took that out and put it in a regular plastic bin that we're going to use for that. Now, a lot of you might be asking why we chose the temperature of 135 degrees to do this and why to do it for 48 hours. Uh, I, as I was researching this project uh, for the sous vide cook of a brisket, I found a lot of different temperatures. I saw people cooking these things everywhere between 130 and 150 degrees. And uh, at most of those, the time still stayed at around 48 hours. Uh, at that lower temperature, uh, 
it takes that long to break down those collagens in there that make brisket inherently tough. Uh, we get through that on the barbecue smokers by cooking at a higher temperature. You know, we're cooking those things at anywhere between 225, 300 degrees usually and cooking them for an hour to an hour and a half a pound, that higher temperature breaks down that collagen. And as you also know, we get the internal temperature of that meat up to around somewhere between 195 and 205 degrees Fahrenheit before that uh, meat is extremely tender and ready to come off. We're gonna have that same level of tenderness on this meat cooking it at 135 degrees for 48 hours. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let this continue to cook and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a sauce that we're going to glaze this uh, brisket with. After we're finished with the sous vide cook, we're going to put it on the Kamado Joe for a while and we're going to put a glaze on the outside of it, a barbecue glaze. So let's get started making that sauce. Okay, we're going to get our sauce going. I've got a saucepan going over medium high heat here. I've got one half of a sweet onion that I've chopped up. I've got four cloves of garlic that I have peeled and just smashed. And then I'm gonna add three quarters of a cup of whiskey. And we're gonna bring that to a boil. And uh, once it comes to a boil, we're gonna reduce the heat and let that simmer for about 10 minutes. While that part's coming together, we're gonna mix the rest of our stuff up. I've got two cups of ketchup, one third cup of cider vinegar, one quarter a cup Worcestershire sauce, one half of a cup of brown sugar, one half teaspoon of black pepper, one half teaspoon of salt, and then we're going to add about a teaspoon of hot sauce, and I'm going to use sriracha in this case. You can use whatever you like, and we're just going to mix that together. Okay, after that's been going for about 10 minutes, we're going to put our sauce that we've mixed up in here and we're going to let this come up to a simmer as well and uh, we're going to let it thicken up a little bit and then we're going to strain the onions and the garlic back out of it so i'm going to let this uh, cook and let it come back up to a simmer and then we'll be back to have a look okay i think my sauce has thickened up to about the consistency i like it's going to thicken up even a little bit more as it cools and here's the point where you're going to want to taste your sauce when you're making it because at this stage, if you want to make your sauce sweeter, you can add a sweetening agent to it. Like you can add honey or you can add some fruit reserves or anything else that's sweet, even molasses. And if you want to spice it up a little bit also, you're going to want to do that at this stage. So I'm just going to turn this heat off and we're going to strain out the uh, solids here. Okay, I'm just going to dump this sauce into a strainer over a mixing bowl. And like I said, we're going to strain out the onions and the... Uh, solid pieces of garlic. That's optional also. You could take an immersion blender or whatever and blend that right in if you wanted to. I prefer to take mine out. So I'm just going to drain that out of there. We're going to set this sauce aside and uh, get, get to our brisket. I have taken the brisket out of the sous vide bath and I've just removed it here from the uh, vacuum seal bag and this thing is fully cooked. So what we're going to do next is I'm just going to pat it dry and then we're going to take this outside to the grill where we're going to put a sear on the outside of it. Okay, I've got my Kamado Joe Classic fired up here nice and hot. I've set up for some two-zone cooking with the cast iron grate on the low side over here and the heat deflector on the other side with the regular grate up above it. So we're just going to put this brisket piece on the cast iron and sear it for two or three minutes on each side until we get a nice good sear and then we'll come back and flip it over okay this looks like it's ready to flip over we went about two minutes or so there got a nice good sear on the outside of that so we're going to go for about a minute and a half more on the other side and then we'll be back okay we have finished with our sear so i'm going to open the lid here and i'm going to close the bottom vent also and we're going to pick this brisket up and we're going to move it to the cool side of the grill. And on this side, we're going to baste it with our barbecue sauce. Get a nice baste of this uh, whiskey barbecue sauce we made on both sides of this brisket. And we're going to let it 
glaze on there for a few minutes. So I'm going to hit that side, then we're going to flip it over and get the back. A nice coat of that. And I'm going to close the lid and let that stay on there for just a few minutes. And uh, then we'll be back. Okay, guys, I believe we're about ready. That uh, sauce that we put on there has had a nice chance to glaze. So we're going to take this off the grill and take it inside and see what comes next. Okay, guys, what we have here is our basically our medium rare sous vide brisket. So I'm going to slice off some of this off the end here. And... We're gonna definitely have a taste. Okay guys, it's time for a taste test. And I've just sliced off a few pieces of this and I've added a little bit more of our whiskey barbecue sauce. And I just wanna kinda demonstrate here that this is a, a perfect pull apart tenderness, just like you would expect from a piece cooked on your smoker for any length of time. It's very tender, so let's have a taste. Hmm. I have to have another one. Wow, that is absolutely delicious. It's very good. It's different than your typical barbecue brisket. That outside, the crust on this is very reminiscent of your steak crust since we seared it the way we did. It's not like a barbecue bark. And this barbecue sauce recipe that I've shared here with you today is, is very good. It's the way we prepared it today, it's more on the savory side and it goes perfectly with this beef. This is delicious and this cook, this sous vide technique for the brisket works particularly well because if, if you've cooked brisket before on your smoker, you know that a whole packer brisket or even a flat like we were dealing with today is thinner on one end than it is on the other. There's always a thickness variation across the brisket from the point all the way down to the to the uh, flat. It's thinner at the flat end and it's thicker as you go up toward the point. So the uh, all of the meat is perfectly cooked. There's no part of this brisket that's cooked any less or any more than the rest of it because it's all been done in that sous vide bath at 135 degrees for 48 hours. So this has come out really well. Can't wait to finish eating that. That's going to be my lunch today. So give this a try and uh, definitely check out our offerings from Omaha Steaks. I'm going to have a link to Omaha Steaks and to our Namaku sous vide controller with its discount code in the description to the video. So until next time, this is John Setzler with Kamado Joe Cooking Channel.